this part of LA is home to Whitey Enterprises, Ozone, La Third World, uh, Third World, uh, Larue, Larue, uh, Fifth, um, Fourth Dimension. Do, do you remember growing up and hearing all of these? Yo, like I say, you know, those was our superstars. Like I say, our mamas never gave us no money to go to those, go see it. Yeah, with the superheroes. You know, like I say. Where from, drug dealers and superheroes. Yeah, like I say, we had Jimbo get this money. Mm -hmm. Go to Forty Avalons. They got the they got the ozone down there, getting money. You got my boy Eddie Bogetti, Third World, Bird Train down there, Third World. Broadways had Wadi Enterprise. Yeah. You know, and, and hold on, man. They might now, 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 now. I'm gonna give a shout out to a special crew of dudes, man. To when you know when when I look back at history, I say when everybody was dope dealing, making money, dope dealing. We had a crew of dudes down here, man, that was getting money. And they weren't selling dope. I'm gonna give a shout out to Looney Raj, Fire Trey, Big Baby Trey, Fire Trey, Squeaky Mouth Larry, Short Larry. Uh, 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 they had a crew. I think they was flocking back then. Man, my homie Looney Rodgers come through here, man, with that big old gold rope chain, four foot. Big old medallion. We talking about Looney big old medallions. And the homie Big Baby Trey, he not too much older than me. And the homie come pick you up. And you a little homie. Not said our family was having money back then. You get a homie car. And they car better than your mama car. Wood grain. The homie come get me. We are hit a corner. And next thing you know, you hear that motherfucker unless you un uh, door a lot. Boom, boom. And the police get behind us. These motherfuckers will jump out a brand new car and run. By the time you amazed at the wood grain and the police got behind us, them dudes were jumping out of brand new cars and leaving the car. And you be like, they even leave this brand new 1984 Brom Cadillac? Like, yes, they are. Nigga, I'm leaving Benzes. My right homie, my, my homie Looney Raj had TVs in the car before they had TVs in the car. Mm. The homie, you, you go to the hood, Leroy from 40s, Jim Boy them, Looney Raj, the homie Big G Rat. I crap game a jump off. Man, this hunters on the floor. You might buy a car, buy the homie car after the crap game. It was just money flowing. It was just money flowing back then, and and the homie made you want to hustle. So, so in the '80s, who who would you say was making the most money out of these different groups and organizations? Because I've heard a lot about Bird Train. Bird Train name always come up. Bird Train, I can't count his pocket because Bird Train owed me, but they went to Riverside. They kind of opened up Riverside. But see, that's how we either get into it. You know, money bring arrogance. How can I say arrogance? So they start getting money. Some of them start to feel themselves. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. That means you can't. That means you can squabble all of a sudden. You can't got this money. I mean, you can fight now. So we just get into it with them because they some dude had the money and the money brought the bitches and 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 and, 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 and they brought other dudes. So, but I would say, if I had to. As a crew, I had to give it to Ozone. They, Ozone had New Jack City before the, the, the movie came out, New Jack City. We were little kids. We just wish we could get on the team. Like, I want to be a watch out. You could be on the block on a, a 10 year old, 12 year old kid on a bike, on a BMX bike, being a watch out. I think uh, I interviewed Bo Hanna from Fortray, and he said he used to hang out with. And those on making money. Just be gonna be a watch out. Yeah. Just be a watching out. And like I say, I think they were really making. I I I had to say, the uh, the ozone. I want to say I want to say the ozone was. I mean I can't I, I don't know how much uh, uh the white enterprise was doing because that was the Broadway thing. I remember back then you had dudes with jackets on with white enterprise on the back. You know what I mean? So. They had organized down there, but I don't know how much money they was making. But now, I don't know if they was part of the enterprise, but I know my nigga Big Lil Cubone, my nigga Big Even Broadway was eating like a motherfucker, cause they stayed on my back gate. And they was getting to the bag over there. 
from 47th place, they would get to the bag over there, but I don't think they was a part of why the enterprise, they was a part of that fabulous five do stay. They were this Broadway gangster. They were a part of no, I don't think they was a part of like no drug name. They would have still posses on Broadway. So Big E, shout out to Big E from Broadway and Lil Cubo from Broadway, they would get to the bag over there. Who's the first guy you've seen on the east side on Dayton's? I mean, it looking good? Yeah. Big Jimbo. <laughs> Nobody did it better than Big Jimbo. Big Jimbo had all the low riders, all, I mean, when Jimbo hit the corner with a car, you be like, oh, he, he oh. I mean, I remember one day, me and Looney, me and Big Jimbo, we rolled out one day, and he low riding. Man, he scared the shit out of me. I told you, you ride this dude, man. He hit the switches up, all you will see is sky. And come down, you be like, I'm holding on to the door. He, me and Jimbo had a lot, I, I want to say, a lot in common, because we was big dudes, that we were hustling, but we was really, he was a good dude. But Jimbo, I think Jimbo. Now, Jimbo, and then we, you know, back then, you had rivals. Dudes getting to the bag. You would see Jimbo come out with something clean. Do you know that, do you know Looney Raj? Go come through today. Now, Raj, I remember Raj came through with the, uh, the four-door dually high in the air with the snow, you know, with the snow things on the top, with the big antennas. You know what I mean? He came with his shit. And then, then you got to give respect to my homie G-Rat. Homie G-Rat come through that luxury sport on them old gold ones. Then you going to hear that then now. And then we got to talk about Big Baby Trey. That Big Baby Trey come through looking like, uh, uh I want to say, Big Trey, gangster. Big Trey had that swagger. He had the, that, the 72 glass house, all white, with the black convertible phantom on them 13s. Now, 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 I'm, I'm saying it was a, now it wasn't this one dude. It was, I had to give a shout out. I didn't even have my homeboy, Big Nut, had the mountable with the swivel seats, with the flakes in the grab. So back then, a lot of, it was a lot of dudes motivating you to get some money. Now let me ask you, do you remember the place where everybody used to get their car painted? I think it was called Castro's. Castro's, yeah. Castro's. Was that on, on 40s? Uh, uh, the Castro's, I think it's on, it's on Broadway. Broadway and 40 something. 41st yeah. Broadway, and then they had Nick's. That's on 41st and Avalon. But Castro's was, was the man back then. Yeah. Castro, I, I just go to uh, Holy Cross with the, with, the, with the sons. Is that right? Yeah, they HOBs. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the, the, the paint shop is gone, right? Yeah, they, they, it, it's, yeah it's something it's like a mechanic yeah, shop. Like a mechanic shop, but, yeah. but, that, but Castro was him. So the Castro family ended up having some sons that that uh, started banging HOB? Yeah, you no, know, HOB, that's, that's, that, 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 was, that was them. Yeah, that was them then. That, that, because they, they say they was having bread back was then. So they, they, they was having bread back then. Well, I remember that. Castro's in around 85, 86. I don't think HOB was out. No, 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 no. But but see. Maybe I, in the early 90s. The, the, HOB came late. Yeah. But I say again, all this kid, all HOBs is really from that immediate area. And I don't think nobody was having more money over that immediate area than Castro. And can you imagine how much money he was making from those paint jobs? Because each one of those paint jobs was like $1,000 each, right? Each, and, and, and or more. Depending. Or more. Yeah. And, and you see some nice paint jobs come with the flakes, yeah. with the pearls, the deep, they don't, they, don't, they don't make the pearls no more. They don't do pearls. I mean, you had the the the, the homie hit the corner, and you see that haze. They called the pearl back then. Oh, they call it. They got some other name for it now, but we had the they had, they had the pearl on it. Yeah. So basically, you're talking about like a white painted car, you are, but it's got either a red tint or a green tint or a blue tint, like a pearl, like a pearl, like a pearl on it.